The Springfield Prodigy is a pistol that has met with controversy and people saying it's an unreliable and ineffective weapon with tons of issues. I'm here to tell you that may not always be the case. You're seeing a lot of tabletop reviews and folks that they want to get online, bash the pistol for publicity. And I'm going to show you right now at the very beginning. This is a very, very dirty Prodigy. I'm past 200 rounds. The pistol's broken in and we're going to go through a range review on this thing. As I stated before with our Prodigy, I'm well past 200 rounds total on this pistol. I've had nothing but reliability on the pistol. That doesn't come without a caveat. With that being said, the first couple hundred rounds of this pistol, it had very, very weak ejections, almost to the point where I thought I was gonna do some tuning on this pistol. And with that being said, I did do a very, very slight bit of tuning on this pistol to maybe help out the ejections, but that wasn't even until after, let's say, it started getting better ejections. I had bought in a 14 pound recoil spring to replace the recoil spring in this pistol to try and help out the issues I was having with weak ejections. They weren't staying in the, the chamber, they were ejecting, however, they were practically falling out of the pistol. I then removed the extractor, tensioned that extractor a little bit tighter because it seemed like it was a little bit loose. And the extractions on this pistol right now, as you're seeing, are very, very strong. Out of the box, I took this pistol, completely cleaned it, lubed it up with some Lucas Oil stuff that I always use. A real good lube job on it, put tons of lube on it. 1911, 2011 pistols, they need lubrication, unlike some of your Glock and 320 size pistols. They're a little bit different. They're not quite as, let's say, maintenance free as what you'd come to expect. But overall, this pistol out of the box has been absolutely fantastic for me to this point, especially now that it's broken in. All right, so with this pistol, what I'm gonna show you is that on the side here, your slide release lever or slide stop is not enlarged like something you would get on a staccato. For myself, I have large hands and it's actually impossible for me to hit that slide stop or slide release lever and release that slide with my firing or let's say dominant hand. I have to take my support hand as I come up on it and actually catch that to release the slide. So a little malfunction there. That's the first malfunction I've had out of, let's say close to 300 rounds. One thing I'll make mention of is you're seeing a lot of these prodigies ship out with this hex dragonfly red dot on it. If I was to make one claim or thing that I think you should steer away from, unfortunately, it's these hex optics. This hex optic right now is actually dead. It's not working. It's shut off on me while I'm shooting, which is unfortunate. In the past, I have had issues with them. I'll be the first to admit it. We've worked with Springfield for a while. However, these red dots, I think, are truly missing the mark. So I had one round in there that appeared as a light primer strike. After that though, still shooting okay. Um, no failure to eject or anything like that on there, but let's get a good look inside that chamber. And you guys will see how dirty this thing is right now. A couple really important parts or pieces I wanna talk about is the grip texture on the Prodigy. This being the four and a quarter inch model is absolutely fantastic. I love how the texture is. I think it's just right. I don't have this pistol and feel like it needs some form of extra stippling. The undercut under the trigger guard is perfect for that two-handed grip. In addition to that, one thing I'll mention, a lot of people are probably not gonna believe me, but when I tell you I've owned a C2 Staccato and the grip safety sensitivity is actually better on this Prodigy. I think it's sensitized a little bit better. I find it easier to activate on my Staccato. I had a lot of issues wearing gloves or let's say a quick grip or something like that where I actually wouldn't hit it. Now this pistol, I don't really ever have those. Um, it just seems like it's a little bit better like sensitivity wise. Now the safeties on here, they feel good. Uh, good positive retention and clicks to them. 
There's no binding I'm noticing with either side. And overall, it feels really, really good. So let's throw some more rounds to this pistol and keep seeing how this thing fires. Right now, what I work on is a failure drill. So that's two to the chest, one to the head. Some people call it the Mozambique. Today, we're just gonna call it the failure drill. Some more things I wanna talk about with the Prodigy DS here is that the slide serrations themselves are really good. Uh, overall, they have a good texture to them. I think they're just deep enough. They're not overly deep. They're honed, not sharp or anything like that. This pistol coming down on the grip and coming up on a fast draw on there, I was averaging about a 1.5 on the Mozambique there, two to the chest, one to the head, failure drill. And being able to average that coming down on the trigger, I never had any issues where I felt like I had to readjust my grip because as I came down on that grip safety with the pistol, that I wasn't, let's say, indexing it properly or getting a proper grip and not getting enough sensitivity to pop off a quick shot. So really, really happy with the Prodigy. I think what a lot of people fail to realize with the Prodigy in general is that you're getting an actual full production pistol. This pistol is by no means a hand-fitted custom pistol, and you shouldn't expect that. These pistols right now, most of them on the market are going close to $1,300. Some stores frankly, even have them cheaper than that. So to find this pistol for this, that price, if you can, I think it's an absolute steal. And I think it's truly a fantastic pistol at that price. And really overall, this thing shoots really, really well. Do I think I'd carry this for duty at this very moment? Probably not. It's a very new pistol. Um, I think it needs to run through its paces more. I'm gonna shoot a bunch more ammo today through it. I have some garbage hollow points that I've shot in the past through it and it's been fine. But I just wanna continue running rounds through this thing, run through some drills here on steel and then we'll give you guys some final thoughts out on the range. In the last string of fire, you may have noticed that there was actually a malfunction, and I think that that was magazine-induced. Um, overall, though, the magazines for these Duramags, I've actually paid, I'll show you, 35 bucks for this big old 26 mount round one. Now, the Prodigy DS, both models where you get the five, four and a quarter, they do both come with magazines. One here, guys, the 17 round that comes with it, and then a 20 round with this awesome little base pad. I really enjoy it. I think the Duramags overall, they seem like they're a good quality magazine. And again, just one issue that I really believe is magazine related. So let's throw some more rounds down range. What I wanna talk about in this next string of fire in particular is the trigger on here. The trigger on the Prodigy is a real crisp breaking trigger. I'd say it's close to about four and a half to five pounds. So it's a little bit on the heavier side, but let's say if you're talking duty rated or whatever like that, like a duty style trigger, I think it's perfect. And the fact that it breaks crisp and clean with nearly no creep whatsoever is really nice. And what I wanna do on this next section also is I'm gonna walk you through the trigger pull. With the trigger pull, here you go, is slack, slack, firm wall, firm wall, and then it breaks. There's really no, and your reset, I'll show you, very short. So the, overall, the trigger is a really, really nice trigger. And still, you know, is it a staccato trigger? No, I don't think it is. However, it's a really good trigger. And comparatively, if you're talking striker fire pistols, even ones that come in at this price range, this thing's way better than those. So what I want to work on now is a little bit of accuracy. I'm going to end up shooting the pelvic girdle here on the target and actually see how accurate I could be with the pistol. Again, I reiterate this with the reviews is that I, myself and the majority of other shooters, you can't actually outshoot the pistol. If you are out shooting the pistol and you're more accurate, quote unquote, than the pistol is, I'd be very surprised. Um, so really, if this pistol, if I can maintain a good level of accuracy shooting it myself, it's a winner. What I want to show you here is that I actually picked the C zone, let's say wording here on this target and decided just to shoot that C. And overall with this pistol, it's very, very easy to make these hits. And honestly, if you do your part, I have no doubt in my mind that this pistol will put bullets exactly where you want them to go. As long as you get your trigger press, your grip 
mechanics, everything down pat. And if you do that, this is what you can expect. Overall, the Prodigy is an absolutely fantastic shooting pistol. It's accurate. It's proven to be reliable. I have one malfunction in there that I think is pistol related with a light primer strike. One that's magazine related, which you'll get sometimes with 2011 mags. I did actually have two magazine related malfunctions within 500 rounds on my Staccato C2, which we did a review on way back when we started the channel. And this pistol, the Prodigy, I probably can't stress it enough. For the everyday American looking to get into the 2011 game, I don't frankly think that there's a better choice than the Prodigy if you want to get into the 2011 game. Now, if you want to get into this at the high end, ultra custom guns, you know, plus $2,000, I honestly think go the full custom route possibly. And you go up to like your Atlases and things like that. Uh, Scotto makes a very, very good pistol. However, if you're not ready to spend that much, I think the Prodigy will accomplish nearly everything you want. So let's run this thing through a couple quick combat drills. We're gonna run across on some steel, do some more dynamic type shooting, and I'll give you guys some final thoughts. pistol is clear. The Springfield Prodigy, I think, is a fantastic pistol for somebody trying to get into the 2011 game. I think it's also a great pistol for somebody that doesn't want to spend over $2,000 to get a good functioning 2011 that shoots really, really well. This thing is very accurate, has a fantastic trigger, good grip textures, good ambi safeties on there, good slide serrations, front rail for mounting accessories, nice bull barrel, good, let's say, guide rod assembly set on there. Optics mounting platform, AOS from Agency Arms, and overall with this pistol, it has been a reliable pistol. I think the issues I had were magazine related through the 26 round magazine I purchased after the fact. The malfunctions I had were on the reload from that magazine. Outside of that, there was one malfunction, which was a light primer strike. Could have been ammo related, could have been the pistol. This pistol is extremely dirty at this very moment. It's still well lubed. It slides good, frame to slide function and fit is absolutely fantastic. It fits really, really well. And overall, guys, I think Springfield is really on to something with the Prodigy, making a good production 1911 double stack 2011 style pistol. So if you like what you saw today, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you thought. But most importantly, follow along next time with Hunt Fish Shoot.